Rome has over 80 museums and galleries. So if you're only staying here for a few days, just pick a few of your favorites and explore. Rome is one of the oldest cities in Europe and one of the most visited cities in the world, so it's no surprise that it has some of the best museums in the spotlight. With more than 1,000 years of history, you don't have to go far to find beautiful frescoes, stunning architecture, and larger-than-life sculptures. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss Top 10 Most Wonderful Museum in Rome. If you are new to this channel, don't please forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell icon. Without further ado, let's dig in. Number 1. Bagheza Gallery Housed in the Villa Bagheza Pinchana and surrounded by the Villa Bagheza Gardens, third largest public park in Rome. It houses most of the collection, assembled by Cardinal Scipione Bagheza in the 1600s. Bagheza was an avid art collector and patron of his two most important artists of the 17th century, Caravaggio and Bernini. In fact, he used much of his fortune to acquire an impressive collection of paintings, sculptures and antiques, including works by Raphael and Titian. Number 2. Vatican Museum Vatican City is home to numerous museums, with a total of 54 galleries and over 1,400 rooms, housing one of the most impressive art collections in the world. About 20,000 works of art are on permanent display in all museums. This very impressive collection began in the 1500s when Pope Julius II purchased a larger-than-life marble statue called Lao Kun and his sons. The statue depicting a Trojan priest and his two sons being attacked by a serpent. Number 3. National Gallery of Modern and Contemporary Art Often called La Galleria Nationale, the National Gallery of Modern and Contemporary Art is housed in the Palace of Fine Arts, a beautiful building decorated with sculptures by Italian artists such as Giocani Prini, and Adolfo Laurenti. In fact, the size of the building is disproportionately large for the collections displayed inside. With only about 1,100 paintings and sculptures on display at any one time, visitors have plenty of time to appreciate the site's architecture and enjoy the art without bumping their elbows with other people. Number 4. Leonardo da Vinci Museum Nowhere else does Leonardo da Vinci's universal talent shine like this museum. Da Vinci was both a scientist and an artist, possessing extensive knowledge of engineering, architecture, anatomy, cartography, and astronomy. He was also an avid painter and sculptor, creating iconic works such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper. In fact, he is considered one of the greatest painters of the Renaissance, but his academic achievements are perhaps even greater. Number 5. The Capitoline Museums The Capitoline Museums are technically several museums in one. Dedicated to art and archaeology, they occupy many buildings on Piazza del Campidoglio, one of the seven hills of Rome. Michelangelo himself drew up the plans for the two main buildings, Palazzo di Conservatori and Palazzo Nuovo. Later, Galleria di Congenzione and Sala Marco Aurelio Gallery were added to complete the museum complex. The museum's origins can be traced back to a series of bronze statues donated by Pope Sixtus IV in 1471. Number 6. Doria Pamphils Gallery The Palazzo Doria Pamphils, which houses the collection of the same name, is the largest privately owned palace in Rome. In fact, the palace was owned by the Roman prince Doria Pamphili Landi for centuries. It is also one of Rome's hidden gems, and you don't have to be an art lover to enjoy its beauty. The palace has been renovated and expanded over the years. Today, a significant part of the collection is housed in the chapel and state rooms. Other rooms have been converted into galleries to showcase the ever-growing collection.
Number 7. National Etruscan Museum. In Rome's Vigna Vecchia district, you can visit the beautiful Villa Gilia, a 16th-century mansion built by Pope Julius III. Today, Villa Gilia houses the Museo Nazionale Etrusco, or National Etruscan Museum. This is the largest collection of Etruscan art in the world and a must-see for anyone interested in art or history. Some of the most important items of the collection are the Bride and Groom, a life-size sculpture also known as the Sarcophago degli Sposi, the Pergi Tablets, and the Tita Vendia Vase, estimated to be over 2,600 years old. Number 8. Maxi Museum There is evidence that humans lived in what is now Rome 14,000 years ago, but that doesn't mean there isn't enough culture from the last century. The Maxi Museum aims to introduce visitors and residents to the best of Roman art from the 21st century. The Maxi Museum's contemporary structure was designed by renowned architect Zaha Hadid and is worth a visit in its own right. The museum offers exhibitions focused on architecture, painting, and sculpture, as well as a bookstore and cafe. Number 9. Museo Napoleonico. Count Giuseppe Napoleone Primoli, a descendant of Napoleon's maternal brother, is responsible for the vast collection that can be seen today at the Napoleon Museum. Born in Rome in 1851, Primoli spent most of his life moving back and forth between Italy and France and was an avid collector. His interest in Bonaparte's heritage led him to collect many documents about the Bonaparte family at first, but eventually to collect art, relics and heirlooms related to his famous ancestor. Number 10. Museo Nazionale di Castel Sant'Angelo. The building that houses the Castel Sant'Angelo Museum is quite unique. Over the centuries, it has served as a fortress, prison, military barracks, and papal residence. In 1901, part of the building was put on display, mainly displaying ancient weapons discovered during excavations in the area. Since then, the collection has started to grow, adding coins, pottery, and ancient sculptures. So guys, that's all for today's video. Which one of these museums would you like to visit? Let us know in the comment section below. Share this video with more of your friends. Like and hit the notification bell icon to never miss out any of our latest updates. Have a nice day and I will see you later.